Have you tried this new Colgate Smile for Good product yet? Well, I have, and I'm going to tell you all about it. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm back again, saving the planet one product at a time. This week, we're using Colgate Smile for Good. It's a new product from Colgate. It's recyclable chew, recyclable carton, nothing bad in it, only good stuff in it. And I gave it a try for the first time. That little chew, it's clear. Oh, it smells really minty. It tastes good. It's foaming up nice, but not too much. It's not hot, there's no burning. It's lost the total yummy mintness flavor that it had at the beginning. Still got some flavor. And yeah, it definitely doesn't, doesn't foam up as much as regular toothpaste. Hmm. Seems good. If I didn't know what I was using, I wouldn't have questioned it. It just, it's toothpaste. What can you say? It's toothpaste. My teeth feel clean and, and squeaky. Yeah. We'll see how we go after a few days. So I've been using this for about a week now, morning and night. First thing I noticed when I used it was that my teeth felt silky smooth. And it wasn't just immediately after brushing, this silky smoothness was still there 12, 14 hours later. And I thought, I don't remember having that with the regular toothpaste that I use. So the next day I used my regular Colgate white toothpaste the smoothness and the cleanliness was there but it didn't have this silky smoothness that this one gave that smoothness didn't last you know 14 15 hours later so i don't know what is in this that causes it but i really like it it has a nice taste it's a, like a mild minty flavor the flavor is not hot it's minty but it's not hot and it's not burning it doesn't foam up as much as regular toothpaste and that is because it doesn't have that SLS product in it and I don't really care I mean it doesn't foam up it doesn't make you look like you're a rabid dog or anything like that and you don't end up with with strips of foam running down your chin which is a good thing you can actually brush your teeth and feel a little bit stylish while you're still doing it because you're not foaming at the mouth that's just a few things I really like about it First thing you probably notice about this new range is that it looks different. Obviously on the shelf, it's a nice natural looking box. That's because the box is completely recyclable and it's a different size. So instead of being long and thin, these are short and fat. And honestly, I think they're a bit better to grip onto. I think the reasoning behind it is so that when it's on the shelf, it is a different size, a different shape, and clearly a different color, and it's gonna get your attention. They really want it to stand out. The ingredients are 99.7% natural origin. It is sugar-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and SLS-free. I had to look up what SLS meant, and I'm gonna read it here. SLS is sodium lauryl sulfate. It's in a lot of products that you would use for body care, shampoo, moisturizer, toothpaste. Although it is 
generally safe to use it's used in a lot of products with the intention that you like you use it and then you wash it off again for example in shampoo some people can develop some sort of irritation if they leave a product on their skin too long that has this SLS in it and that's why you're probably seeing a lot of products on the market these days that are really publicizing that they don't have SLS. There are two different types you can buy. You can buy this one which is the regular protection one and you can buy another one that has baking soda in it so that you can whiten your teeth. I have tried baking soda products in the past and they burn my lips and my mouth and I can't use them so I'm very happy to stick with this one. Everything you need, nothing you don't. It contains water, fluoride, silica and aroma because it's I can't say it starts with X. Cellulose gum to give it the right consistency and laurel glucoside and something or other glutamate okay they're obviously the products that they use in this instead of using SLS because that SLS product that I mentioned before is what gives the right consistency to certain products and it's also what makes things like toothpaste go foamy the smile for good range has the toothpaste mouthwash dental floss and environmentally friendly toothbrushes and this is the first one I've tried because I needed toothpaste so I went to buy it and I really wanted to try this one they've printed their mission statement on the side of the box our mission is to make all our products fully recyclable by 2025 and my first reaction was whoa why don't you start doing it now why haven't you done it sooner but then I thought a company the size of Colgate has probably got enough tubes already made up and stockpiled that it's going to take till 2025 to use them all up. So that's probably why they say that. But the good news is all products fully recyclable by 2025 and really that's only four years away. Less than four years because we're already halfway through 2021. So I think that's a little bit exciting actually. So you're probably wondering what it costs. The regular 120 gram Colgate plain white toothpaste that I would normally buy cost me $1.99. This one is 95 grams and it costs me $3.99. So $2, $4, it's twice the price. I can justify that because it lasts quite a while because I'm only one person using it. So there you have it, my latest product that's going to save the planet one product at a time, Smile for Good Toothpaste. Recyclable tube, recyclable box, tastes good, vegan friendly, no sugar, no nothing bad. That's what it says. So there we go. All done. Hope you learned something new. Give it a try. I liked it. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and then share it with your friends.